In this video, I'll show you how to add or insert markers to your composition in the script. Hi, my name is David and welcome to this video. Now, just some few uh, basics. Markers can help you segment your content. That is, if you're working on a podcast and want to repurpose the podcast into a blog post, then you can add in your titles if you want to add them in uh, from the get-go. Uh, and this can help you know uh, what comes in at what time uh, when there's a change or anything of that sort or whatever was being discussed. Secondly, when you add markers, you can use these markers to navigate easily through uh, your particular composition that you're working on. So let's assume you want to add markers to a particular composition on screen. An easy thing to do is uh, just come up to this particular plus sign here in from this composition window. Just click on that and you'll see the option to add a marker. So the number one thing that you might need to do is let's say we want to add a marker before uh, this particular transcript begins. So we can just press on enter uh, or just even just click here, press enter and then click up here. So once you've clicked in there, you can either come up here or secondly, uh, you can just click uh, right here and press on control K if you're on Windows, command K if you're on Mac to bring up the conductor and uh, the conductor will ask you what would you like to do. Now, there are different options here that you can see others are down there, but let's press on M. Once you press on M, there's an option to insert marker. If I click on that, then we'll have this particular marker uh, right here. Let's uh, rename this and call it introduction. So that's, let's say it's the introduction for this particular uh, transcript or composition. Uh, let's say we scroll up to somewhere here. Let's say you are, you are discussing them, something like step one. So we will just press on the uh, control K again on Windows, con uh, command K on Mac to bring up the conductor and then press on M, insert marker. And then let's say we type step one and then we can just scroll down slightly again. Let's say we come up to here, a new paragraph of sorts, control K, M, and then let's call this uh, step two and then let's say we bring up to this particular section new paragraph we can now add it through here and then just click on marker let's say conclusion uh, and those are our markers we've added our markers so how can you reuse these particular markers to navigate so if I just scroll back up uh, if I just come up to here and let's say I press on control K there's an option to jump to marker. Now, if you click on that, you'll see the different markers that are available. Jump to introduction, step one, step two, step th uh, and the conclusion. If I click on step two, we are going to navigate straight on to step two. Alternatively, you can also use uh, this particular drop down here. And if you hover over this particular section, uh, you'll see the option to jump to marker. If I click on that, you'll see the different markers that you have in your composition. So I can click on conclusion and we are going to jump right straight to the composition. So that is how you add or insert markers and how you can use markers to speed up your process, to create titles if you wanted to repurpose your content into blog posts of sorts uh, easily. My name is David. I hope this video has been of value to you if you're working in the script. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.